Will it continue? Yeah, we've got a couple scattered showers remaining, but mm -hmm. the temperatures today were remarkably cool. We mm -hmm. were about 20 degrees below normal. Not so complaining. Not complaining. <laughs> we were pretty close to being a record low high, which is a record cool day. As we're heading through the next couple of days, though, those temperatures climb back up pretty quickly. By midweek, we've got that heat back and some storms as well. Here's a look at our rainfall totals from today, and they're pretty good. We got about a quarter of an inch in most spots at least as we head towards areas like Lexington, three quarters of an inch, an inch and a third in Boone. We got almost a full inch in Martinsville. We desperately needed this rain, so everyone who got it is very fortunate. This drought monitor reading is a little out of date at this point. It is our latest reading, but what they do is they take that reading on Tuesday, release it to us on Thursday. So this is what things looked like as of last Tuesday. So hopefully this week we'll have some big improvements on this map where we had moderate drought throughout our forecast area. As we're going through the next couple of hours, though, we're pretty much done with the rain. A couple more light showers through the overnight and early morning hours of tomorrow. You might see some raindrops on the windshield. You might want to grab the umbrella before you head out to work on your Monday morning. But by the afternoon, temperatures are in the low 80s. It's warmer again, winds five miles an hour with partly cloudy skies. In the foothills, we see more and more sun as we head into the afternoon. So we start off with mostly cloudy skies and a couple of those raindrops out there as well. Some fog possible. Temperatures get into the upper 70s there. And then we have sunny skies by the evening and then clear out as we go through the evening hours as well. And in the mountains, that small chance for showers and fog. Temperatures getting into the low 70s as we head into the afternoon. Mild with winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. That heat, it's coming back. We're already back in the 80s tomorrow. By Tuesday and Wednesday, they were in the 90s and then Thursday the upper 80s so we're hovering back near our normal temperatures. Our rain chances they're sticking around too. Now Monday and Tuesday nothing significant. A couple showers here and there. That's that Monday morning rain chance we were talking about. We could have a shower or two as we head into the afternoon on Tuesday. Our next significant rain chance arrives on Wednesday. A 60% chance for showers and storms. It'll be an impact day and then we've got a couple others as we head towards the weekend so we'll get some more good moisture out there. Here's a look as we head through that time frame. Showers and storms pick up, especially Wednesday afternoon, so we could have some strong to severe thunderstorms. We're going to be keeping a close eye on that with that damaging wind threat we continued to see over the past couple of days. Thursday as well, and then heading into the weekend, some more shower chances, bringing us that much needed rain. It's always nice to see this hour by hour forecast that's not just totally dry, because of course this time of year we need all the moisture we can get. As we're looking outside, temperatures, cloud and rain, well we have some cloud cover out there and a couple light showers. As we're pulling back, though, this is actually pretty interesting here. We're watching this frontal boundary decay. It's breaking apart and weakening, and as it does so, an area of low pressure is forming. And it's still over land, but believe it or not, the National Hurricane Center is watching it for possible development over the next couple of days. Over the next five days, there's a 30% chance that we'll watch this develop into a tropical system. And regardless, it'll be bringing heavy rain from the Louisiana coastline all the way to the Florida Panhandle. So this will be one to watch over the next couple of days and we'll keep you posted on any development development there. Here's a look at our seven day forecast as we head through the next couple of days. You see that impact day on Wednesday, more shower and storm chances as we head towards the later part of the week. And this time around, we're not getting much of a break from the heat on any of these days.